Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got China Glaze Zombie Zest. I'm going to do some stamping. Here is China Glaze's Zombie Zest and I already have applied my base coat which is Meltique's Formula 2. Zombie Zest is one of those funky funky colors. It is green and it's appropriately named. Zombie Zest is perfect for it. This one's an oldie but a goodie in my collection. I'm going to go in with a second coat of Zombie Zest just to kind of build it up a little bit. I'm going to have to get Woody involved. I've made a little bit of a mess. Here we go. We're going to wipe around the edges just a little bit. And I decided to go ahead and go in with a third coat because I am doing pretty thin coats. This polish is so blingy it's freaking the camera out. It's got gold fleck in it, and it's just a murky, funky, crazy color. And I am adding a coat of Posh Top Coat so that I can get this one to dry all the way down so we can do some stamping. Ugh, love it. And I'm going to be stamping with the Nicole Diary NS01. My monocle stamper and the clear jelly scraper. And this is Wistonia plate W116. And I'm just going to use this little bitty looking, cute, cartoony looking skeleton. Get that extra off with some tape. And this little image fits really good on my little bitty short nails. I'm going to put that image on all of my nails except for my accent. Let me do something different with it. I just think he's so cute. I just, uh, it's like, oh, you're so cute. Now I know you're thinking, no way is that going to fit on your pinky nail. But it does. Watch. I'm going to get that little thing to fit on my pinky nail and I'm not even going to have to shrink it. Here we go. Tapping that extra off of there with the tape. But him fits perfect. And I'm going to be using this under other bundle monster plate. I'll have to put it in the, up under the, on the screen because it just went by too quick. But I'm using this um, zombie looking lady and I am going to have to shrink her. That is my uh, Born Pretty Starry Scraper. I mean Stamper. Oh, losing my mind. But you need one that you can bend, pinch all the corners together. I've decided to make a decal out of her because I'm just not quite sure I'm going to be able to just put her on my nail just right. So I'm being very careful and, apply, and applying a little bit of that super dry. And we're going to peel her right off of there. She's my glamorous lady zombie. I'm just going to trim up the edges real quick with my little scissors. These are going on my short, this one's going on my short nails, so I, won't, I don't want to have to have too much floating around the edges that I'm going to have to clean up. And she's not perfect, you know. It's um, a little cattywamp, but that's okay. I'm okay with it. And I'm going to, I'm having a little trouble getting her on there. I'm having trouble getting the placement right. So I'm just going to go with it. Because after you put that little sticky coat down, you kind of stuck with it. But I'm okay. She's kind of like hanging sideways on the wall, which is how she'd be hanging at my house anyway. I'm going to go in with my little cleanup brush and some acetone and just clean up those edges just a little bit. And kind of get that decal that I just made to kind of stick down to the nail pretty good. Getting that end because I had a little bitty piece sticking off the end. all the way around that edge there. Try to sharpen it up just a little bit. And I know sometimes I just get picky on this cleanup, but sometimes I overdo it. I don't think I overdo it this time, but I do get just kind of picky about it. There we go. I think I'm almost done. I hope. It takes me longer to do cleanup than it does to paint them. So we're going to seal this design in with some posh top coat. 
Look how that glimmers underneath there. I just love it. Digging it. Capping my little bitty tip in there. And the camera's just bugging because it's so blingy. There we go. There we go. I'm going to break Woody out and do a little bit of cleanup. There we go. That's it. And here is my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.